Despite the weekend's wet weather, Hawaii is considered a tropical paradise, one that Chicago resident and Sony Open champion Mark Wilson loves to enjoy. Coming from the snow and everything, it's just great. I can finally practice, get away from the, the snow and the cold, and, and just know that uh, you can wear flip-flops and shorts and a uh, Hawaiian shirt, and that's definitely the best part. Coming from the Midwest in the dead of winter to Hawaii to play in the first full field event of the year, rust on the game could be expected. Well, it didn't show for Wilson, playing his last 42 holes of the tournament without a bogey while posting all four rounds in the 60s. The tour veteran withstood 36 holes on Sunday for a two-stroke victory over players champion Tim Clark. Last year wasn't my best year. I'm not going to be exempt next year if, if I don't play well this year. So it was nice to, yeah, get it out of the way. And I think the challenge for me is going to be to not raise my expectations. You know, I went out there this week and I just said, let's just do the best we can and see what happens at the end. And thankfully, I'm here standing on top. Diligently practicing in sub-zero temperatures can be a nuisance. That is, unless you're prepared for it. Walking down into my basement, which is pretty much my practice area, Right now, you, you walk into about 400 square feet of, uh, of putting green. It is all plywood if you walk up this way. You can see it's, it's a little higher up. Come on over here. We've got a uh, full swing golf simulator. We've got uh, three feet of snow outside. So I got to come down here and, and hit some balls on my indoor driving range. What do you know? I hit a good one. But what I use a lot down here is, uh, is chipping. The dedication in the basement now gives Wilson his third career PGA Tour victory. And as his game continues to grow, he can now reflect on how far he's come. I really believe that I appreciate the PGA Tour more because I went through all these other tours. I remember 1998 driving down to Florida to, to go try to qualify for the Hooters Tour. And then I went to Australia and played over there another year on the Hooters Tour. And then I finally got to the finals of Q School for the first time in 2001. I got my nationwide card, which is all I wanted. It's funny how that works sometimes. You find something, a swing thought or a putting thought, and, and you just ride it. And I've been on the PGA Tour ever since. The people work hard up here. Hard work is, is rewarded, and hard work will get you to where you want to be.